are bad uses of CGI, kind of like the rock scorpion king. And then there's good uses of CGI, like anytime David Fincher emboldens his style with his subtle visual effects. And then there's Jar Jar Binks, a prime example of inexplicable CGI because, hey, you have the budget, so you might as well do something with it. Please, Hollywood, let's just never go full Jar Jar again. The big studios will never learn their CG lesson, and here are the facts to prove it. Now for the icing on the cake! In Zack Snyder's much improved Justice League, Barry Allen shatters glass, breaks asphalt, and still saves the girl, all while watching one single speck of sesame float through the air. I find this to be one of the oddest decisions in a four hour movie. That sesame seed haunts my dreams. Babies are the Achilles heel of the film industry. You can't hire a newborn to play the role of a new kid and adjusting to the schedule of an actual baby is pretty hard for a big budget film to make work. That's why we got Bradley Cooper pretending this doll was real in American Sniper. But this move by the makers of Breaking Dawn Part 2 just blows that out of the water. While 2006's Children of Men absolutely dominated the CGI game, it's a shame to see a film made five years later produce uh, whatever this is. Back to Justice League. I know Henry Cavill needed to keep the mustache for another project, but why was this the best anyone on that project could do with this problem? His lip looks like it's slowly falling down his face. By all accounts, this one came down to a mix of studio hubris and the ever-present allure of cold, hard cash. Since Warner Brothers wanted this movie done and out so it could reap big box office rewards, which... Well, that turned out fine. Yikes for days. Thank goodness Snyder fixed that awfulness in his version. I first saw Blade with no idea of all of the behind the scenes drama. So imagine my surprise when I see the Daywalker lying there, getting ready to be sliced open, and suddenly these fake eyeballs pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, I was just as confused as you. Not to go down the rabbit hole, but Wesley Snipes was a colossal pain to work with during production apparently. Rumor has it, he refused to open his eyes at all during the scene, and that's why they added this later in post. Cats is one of the shows that has become synonymous with Broadway. It's best known for the creative costume design that produces this fantastic human-cat hybrid. Okay, knowing that, why did anyone sign off on an all-CGI look for the movie? I mourn the talent given up on set when they decided to put all of these famous actors in green bodysuits instead of trying something a little more complex. Rebel Wilson's character literally peels her skin off at one point and all sorts of weird mistakes and animation mishaps found their way into the final product. Talk about a jellical disaster. Next up, this scene in John Wick. Okay, the dog itself is real. However, given what happens to Daisy, I'm not sure if that makes things better or worse. When Daisy goes to make a little doggy lawn ornament, that's all a visual effect. Come on, you guys, was that even necessary? I'm sure the fake dog poop at your local prop store wasn't even that expensive. I'm convinced they made an animator do this as a prank. In his hit childhood scarring film, E.T., Steven Spielberg replaced the guns being held by the FBI agents in the third act with walkie-talkies as part of the special re-release in 2002. I understand he's trying to change the film to better fit the tone for a modern audience, and a bunch of authority figures ready and willing to pop a cap in our adorable alien friend and his child sidekick and exactly kid-friendly, but like, dude, this destroyed me as a kid. And FBI agents with guns is the issue? What really blows my mind is the fact somebody caught this change all the way back in 2002. So Spielberg's change for an anniversary re-release reminds me of another director who's done the same thing, you know, maybe one too many times. Yeah, George Lucas, you're super guilty of this, we all know it. I want to bring up a scene from Attack of the Clones that is so awkward that I gotta fast forward through it to this day. Padme getting fed the pear by Anakin while he uses the force, not what I'd call romantic. What's even worse is the pair is rendered in this god-awful early 2000s effect, so it's not even lifelike. Come on, Lucas! Every actor needs to have the ability to fake cry as a talent. I'm not even talking about ugly crying. If you can shed a tear on command, odds are 
you're a solid actor. Jennifer Connelly is an absolutely top tier talent, which makes the decision to add fake tears to the scene in Blood Diamond mind boggling. Apparently director Edward Zwick just wanted the scene to have a little more emotion during post-production and rather than just forget it as a good idea too late in the game, he just used the magic of computers to make a woman cry. Any scene with food or drink is a nightmare to shoot. The actor needs to repeat that action many times over. In the movie Vacation, Christina Applegate's character is invited to chug an entire pitcher of beer. Hey, the trick to this scene is there's no beer in the glass. That way the crew doesn't have to reset a fake pitcher for every single take. I know, phony beer would have worked too, but that's a lot to deal with. This was weird, but surprisingly effective. Eyes Wide Shut is one of those movies everybody remembers because of all the just oddity in it. I'd say you especially remember the first time if you were with your parents. For those of you out there, I hope you know I'm pressing F to pay respect. After Kubrick's untimely death, however, the studio enlisted a VFX team's help to add a bunch of computer-generated people into the background of scenes, thereby skirting past the MPAA. These fake people were placed to cover the more explicit acts being shown. Yeah. A more explicit version exists, so uh, I don't know, hashtag release the Kubrick cut? The third day of filming the movie Tag got off to a rocky start when co-star Jeremy Renner fell 20 feet and broke both his arms. Turns out that Renner is a lot like the characters he's played over the years. He finished the scene and then got his cast. To complete the movie on schedule, the team painted his cast green to CGI Renner's arms into the film later. You've gotta hand it to him. This is wild. If you thought Renner's fake arms were crazy, then this entry is sure to surprise you. There's a less than progressive scene in Your Highness, where Natalie Portman's character is going for a swim. Two things happened here. Portman didn't want to be stuck in a tiny bikini for the entire day, and no one wanted to make anyone on the set feel uncomfortable. The team found a workaround by making green leggings for Portman to wear in the scene. Everything else was digitally added later. The crazy part is fans didn't notice until it was pointed out later. Die Another Day. Pierce Brosnan's James Bond nearly ended the character's long run and this notorious scene was a huge culprit. Kite surfing on a tsunami with just a parachute and a block of ice is already silly. Add in the fact that animated water in 2002 rarely looked realistic and this whole thing comes off like a guy who recently discovered visual effects and tried to do everything possible with them. Of course, this list wouldn't be complete without quite possibly the biggest post-Oscar win blunder of an actor's career. Catwoman was an awful movie, but it had the budget to do some bizarre things. What in the world is happening here? Does this cat need to breathe life back into her in such a visual way? Ugh. Also, why do all these cats need to be computer generated? I don't think it's that hard to train cats to walk up to someone. Just shove some chunk like tuna in Halle Berry's mouth and bada bing bada boom, you've got yourself a special effect. Cats come when they feel like it, not when they're told. You know, there's even a rumor that Nick Cage was given six-pack abs in Ghost Rider through CGI. Look, it feels blasphemous to doubt this legend's ability to get in shape for a role, and some of the crew have suggested it isn't true. Still, the world may never really know. And folks, that's the real oddity here. <laughs>